This is the end of an era of me messing around with uh, converting a Onan 6.5 NH generator to uh, run on wood gas. This is the electronic package that I developed to modify an old Onan 6.5 kW generator to run on wood gas. The main reason that I put all this stuff together, not the only reason, but the main reason that I put all this stuff together was to uh, be able to uh, adjust the ignition timing over a wide range to accommodate wood gas made in a Chinese JXQ10A gasifier, which primarily likes wood chips. Years prior to beginning this project, um, I had bought a this Chinese JXQ10 gasifier, I think back in 2008 or 2009, and uh, over the f years and once I basically got it running, I realized I was going to have to modify it a lot and I would need to know a lot more about it, what was going on inside uh, to pull that off. So that is when I got involved with Arduino and spent a number of years adding uh, modifications to the gas fire and building a data logger, which I've covered in other videos. To gather data logger to gather information about what was going on in the uh, in the gas fire itself. Then I realized that if I was going to run a generator, I'd also need to know some things about the uh, generator too. So uh, as I learned more, I learned that wood gas requires a more advanced timing. I guess it burns a lot slower, and so that's when I started this project. So here it is. 2023 and I don't think I had run this generator uh, using this circuitry or on wood gas for four or five years now. And I've d finally decided to get rid of the generators and the gasifier and so I took all the modifications off of the generator which you see here on this cart and that's what I'm going to talk about now. Here I've tried to separate all the goodies that I took off of the generator into components that might make some sort of sense to somebody. So uh, let me kind of go around here and uh, deal with each general area. Right here is a Toyota RAV4 coil near plug two tower coil from the 90s I believe and uh, a switch that was at one time mounted on the generator along with the coil so that I could switch from the electronic ignition uh, back to the points ignition by just throwing the switch and pulling off the spark plug wires from this guy and uh, uh, plugging in spark plug wires from the original Onan generator coil. Right here is the uh, degree wheel uh, that I bolted to the end of the flywheel of the Onan generator and uh, it has four magnets embedded in it uh, at 90 degree intervals around the face of it so that I could uh, uh, get signals for the timing using this little device right here which is a small circuit board with which is a small circuit board with Hall effect sensors on it. There are actually two sensors and uh, one of the magnets at zero degrees timing is facing up north and the other three are facing up south. And so I could tell when I'm at actually zero and get information every 90 degrees to help me do an excellent job or a better job, better and better job of handling uh, timing changes as I develop that process. That Hall effect sensor then and other things are connected to this 
uh, Arduino Uno, which has a little display, a little uh, uh, LCD display on it. And if I remember right, uh, that one, that display primarily measures advanced degrees. Degrees of advance. Oh, I know. Okay. That little display uh, reads RPMs in real time uh, and uh, it reports advanced degrees. And I believe there's a pot. Yeah, there's a pot on the board here so I can in real time again adjust the timing, see where the timing is, and then I would make observations as to uh, how well the engine was running initially okay and then you can't see it very well but here on the stalk is a little white uh, LED and I use that at, uh, to uh, flash the timing the time the sparks went off onto the degree wheel here so that I could actually have a visible uh, uh, cue as to where the timing actually was uh, on the engine. Okay. Now, uh, as time went on, uh, I wanted to know when I would adjust the timing, I could tell from the sound of the engine, you know, whether it was coughing or running smoothly or what have you, uh, whether or not, uh, I, the only way that I could deduce how, how efficiently the engine was running was to listen to it. But I also figured that I ought to know how efficient the engine was using the fuel. So I then added another Arduino Uno just because I had a lot of them around and still do, and this throttle position sensor to uh, a governor arm, which would tell me how far open the throttle was. And so the display on this guy here reads throttle position with a range of 1 to 31. As I would adjust the timing for a given load, then I would be able to see how high that number, how high that number went, and the higher that number went for a given load would tell me the, the, the farther open that the carburetor throttle had to be in order to, to maintain that load since the generator runs only at one speed, which is roughly 1800 RPMs. So I could essentially go over here and adjust the timing for a given load again, and then read over here how efficient the system was running. And then during all that process, I had decided uh, back to the gasifier days that I also needed an oxygen sensor so that again I could tell how well the mixture was behaving and so this uh, simply coil of wire here simply represents the connections from the engines uh, what do they call that from the engines um, the, the, the simpler O2 sensor but anyway from the O2 sensor to the data logger on the uh, gasifier itself so with way too many words, I suppose, this is kind of the end of the era for wood gas to electricity. I recently put an ad in our local shopper to see if anybody wants to buy the gasifier. My intent is to take the generator, which is now running fine in the normal mode, smokes a little bit, it's old, but it runs just fine and generates a load just fine, up to a local online auction house and sell it have no idea what I'm going to do with the components. I suppose I'll just put them in a small tote and put them away. Thanks for watching and I have many, many, many videos on the subject of the development of this whole system and uh, wood gas operation.